So today's information is specially devoted for the students who are preparing for RWS AWE exam. Okay, so you might have followed my study plan wherein I had made a video long back and where the study plan was from like 15th March to 31st May. Okay, so by now I feel you might have completed the syllabus at least 95% of RWS AWE technical as well as general study syllabus. So now it's time for me to make the revision plan separately for HK exam as well as for the entire Karnataka students. Okay, so I will be discussing that in detail and after that I will be discussing like the topics which you have to study. Okay, for the subjects like water supply, treatment engineering as well as sanitary engineering. So I will be discussing the syllabus as well as the topics which you have to cover in every chapter of these two subjects because these two subjects will devote at least around 30% of the weightage for your RWS AWE exam. Okay, so very much in detail I am explaining so this video will be little lengthy. So the main purpose of discussing these two subjects will be like anyways by now it is a fag end of the preparation. So you might have made the notes and all. So whatever I will be discussing points allow you cross check with your notes and if you have left anything or any of the topic to be covered in the individual subjects. So still you are having the time so you can cover those topics as well. Because do not feel end of the day that I was not knowing that I should study this topic and all. Okay. So but before actually starting with the information of this RWS AWE, let me give you one important announcement which is done by SSE. Okay. So SSE has announced the JE exam for this SSE JE 2023 where your prelims exam will be conducted from 9th, 10th and 11th of October 2023. Okay. So the, even this SSE JE is also a very good job. So do not have the assumption that you will be posted in only the border states of the country. Nothing like that because there are various departments which comes under this SSE and based on your rank and all you will be posted accordingly. So there are high chances that you can be posted in Karnataka as well as the neighboring states. So other mind only it could go better. So what usually students will do is because of this you will not try the exam. It's not like whether you will get selected or you will not get selected. That is secondary. Ill our border post Martha Rantana new exam. Do not do like that because the thing is you will gain experience in this. Okay. If you attempt the exam as well as students who are having the fear of mains paper. Like prelims easy clear Marco both madam SSE but mains is very difficult. But you should be aware that this PWD AWE is descriptive paper. So like when you are studying any particular subject or any particular chapter in technical. So you should see to it that you are studying it as per descriptive as well as objective. Okay. So you know, the confusion I get like when the PWD gadget bant ala AWE descriptive one kule students get the confusion on the madam na nishtala subject so then re math hengo odbeko. There is no change in when you are preparing the entire syllabus. Because see, I'll be discussing about these two subjects, right? Like water supply and treatment engineering and sanitation engineering. So now in points discussion mark and align every chapter, the same thing you have to study for descriptive as well as for objective paper. So in separate and the the thing is they will be asking you the basics. So you should be very clear with the basics. So that is the reason if you mug the MCQs and all without studying the concept, it will not serve the purpose either for objective paper or for descriptive paper. So other someone is in SSC JE means in fear it like descriptive on the television because henceforth mostly in our KPSC the AWE paper will be descriptive. We are not sure but as per whatever we have received the information with respect to PWD AWE I am telling you that that will be descriptive. So be ready to prepare in both the ways MCQs as well as descriptive okay and anyways you can check this playlist also of SSC JE. So I have discussed very much in detail of SSC JE right from like what is SSC JE where you will be posted which are the different departments comes in SSC and what for what marks what rank you will be getting and what is the syllabus what is the salary how your prelims paper will be there weightage of the subjects how the mains paper will be there even I have discussed means question paper also. So each and every information of SSE you will be getting here. Okay. So when you are preparing for any of the exams, right, even you are aware that ISRO notification has also come. So other technical general studies and IT. So whatever you are studying 
it will be helping you for all the exams so that is the reason i am telling you like even you listen when i discuss the topics of water supply and treatment engineering as well as sanitation engineering because this will be helping you for any of the exams where these two subjects are there okay so now i will be discussing about the revision plan for this rws awe hk region let's start so this was the study plan which i had made long back so it's well and good if you had uh, followed this by now you should have completed the syllabus and now this is the revision plan for the hk students where the exam will be conducted on 15th and 16th of june 2023 and i have made 25 days of study schedule starting from 20th may to 13th june okay so you just follow this you'll know drill like i have given the days and all okay like from which date to which date you will be studying so if you follow this definitely you can complete the revision well on time and this is the revision plan for the entire karnataka students where the exam will be conducted on 1st and 2nd july of 2023 so here you can see i have made 42 days of the plan because you will be getting additional 15 days for this particular exam okay so e 40 days uh, two days and i have divided like this so follow this seriously definitely there are high chances that you will get shortlisted for the interview of this rws awe so now let me discuss the topics which you have to cover in each and every chapter of water supply and treatment engineering so nimde en notes aitla keep that notes in front of you and keep cross checking enen nan helid extra irathala because they are in the syllabus and they are important so don't leave anything whatever i will be explaining henceforth so our words or our points in separate barko and you see to it that you find notes for those subjects and add in those individual chapters do not just leave them because this is awe exam and there are only seven subjects so you have to be very thorough with whatever you are studying as per the syllabus okay so and if you haven't made the notes obviously then keep writing all the points because if you haven't applied for this rws awe exam whatever i am discussing this will be helping you for other exams also so note down the points as and when i discuss okay so first let's start with water demand chapter so here you will be studying each and everything with respect to demands like domestic demand industrial demand fire demand and various formula like three to four formula are there like kachling formula freeman formula national board of fire and the writer bustons formula so all this you should be knowing so as to find the fire demand and variations in the demand you should know like the graph and all for uh, seasonal daily and hourly variation and after that maximum daily demand maximum hourly demand formula numerical can be expected from this and after that a very in- important concept that is coincidental draft and total draft so these two are very important you can expect numericals on this and design period for the various structures you should know and population forecast like what is the importance of the population forecast what are the factors affecting population forecast and what are three to four methods of the population forecast like uh, arithmetic increase method geometric mean method method of varying increment decreasing rate of growth logistic curve so ivella in different methods so thavala you should solve for numericals you should know the formula and know each and every term used in the formula because there is little confusion in calculating r value in your geometric mean method so adanella nimu clear agi irbeku as well as you should be knowing like for which particular condition will be applying which particular population forecasting method like old cities or new cities or growing cities or as well as like here new and value to one population forecast made kulle ya particular method valaga you will get more value so all these things you should be knowing okay the main thing of discussing this is whenever you study any topic so a topic name the notes bar kulle you should try understanding what kind of question you can expect from this and also i am telling you like you should try understanding with respect to the descriptive also so descriptive ola yen keltaru avaru like directly they can ask you explain arithmetic increase method with a sample numerical which you can take on your own athu kodabodu athwa they can give you the data and you need to solve the numerical or else like if it is asked for 20 marks then you need to explain all four to five methods in detail okay so based on the marks don't worry when pwd awe notification happens again we will be making series of videos on how you can expect the questions for the descriptive kind of okay so as of now like you can target 
for this rws a e w do not get confused unnecessary okay so now let's take the second chapter that is sources of water so here you need to know details about the surface and ground water with respect to quality and quantity so they will ask you in the exam like yavadru quality hech irathi yavadru quality kami irathi what are the various surface sources what are the various underground sources so all this you need to know after that infiltration gallery yes so what exactly is infiltration gallery and you should know the formula and you should solve a numerical also because most of the students miss the formula uh, numerical in this in infiltration gallery so you should know that and after that you need to know the concept of shallow and deep well okay so when you call it as a shallow well when you call it as a deep well like what is that condition anu gotirbeku and after that yield calculation of open well where you are trying to find the yield yield other than a discharge by two methods one is by a theoretical method another one is by field method and again in field method there are two methods one is like pumping test another one is a recuperating test so again you need to know the procedure of both of them formulae as well as numerical okay so this will be the end of your second chapter next chapter is intake structure so first you need to know what exactly is intake structure what is the function of intake structure and what are the various conditions or criteria which we have to keep in mind when we are trying to find the location of the intake structure like where exactly we want to construct so adar mele nu bahala questions kelaru and what are the different types of the intake structure which are classified based on their functionality as well as materially used during the intake structure okay so adar bage detail ag gotirbeku next comes your water quality parameters chapter which is very very important so here you will be trying to understand three different quality parameters one is physical parameter second one is a chemical parameter and third one is biological parameter so physical wala around five parameters are there in chemical around the 7 to 8 parameters are there in biological around 2 to 3 parameters are there so whatever the parameters you are studying so every parameter nimaga what is that parameter and how it is having ill impacts on the health as well as the usage and next how that parameter is caused in the water and how to find it and what are the permissible limit of those individual parameters so you five to six topics you have to cover with respect to all these parameters don't worry i am discussing in detail about them now so now let's take the first physical parameter that is suspended solids so each and everything you need to know about that as well as how to find graviometric and find out martivu like filtrable material non filtrable then organic inorganic so each and every simple things you need to know and you can expect very simple numerical on this so usually then now theory format da gotivu but in exams numericals have come and even in our video lecture course also i have solved numericals on this so though the numerical are very simple but you have practice madirilla andre nimage exam alag flash agudilla so that you need to know in detail after that it is a turbidity parameter physical parameter here different methods of finding the turbidity you need to know like by using turbidity rod method or jackson turbidometer and bailey's turbidometer nephelometer and what you are adding to make the standard sample like you are adding fuller earth or formazin so based on what you are adding in the standard sample that will define the unit of these parameters like ftu ntu jtu so idrola confusion sarathi that you need to know next physical parameter is color so other the unit is a true color unit and how you will measure by using tintometer so what is one tcu uh in an in explain madakthenal it will be a kind of revision also for you no doubt the video will be lengthy let's not worry about that it will be a kind of revision so one tcu andre na 1 mg of platinum as chloroplatinate ion in 1 liter of pure water then how we can find it again by using color matching technique also next physical parameter is the taste and odor so how do we find it using osmoscope yes so again by using po scale also and what is the unit it is ton that is threshold odor number test sample plus water is equal to mix and always the mix will be less than or equal to 200 ml not more than that so you need to know these simple things then only you can find the correct answer in the numerical okay next uh, last physical parameter here is temperature so we know every 10 degree rise in the temperature the biological activity doubles so these are all the physical parameters 
नेक्स्ट कम्स यूर केमिकल पैरामीटर्स द फर्स्ट वन इज टी डी एस दट इज टोटल डिजाव सालिड्स सो इद यू शुड नो द वेरियस सोर्स काजिंग टी डी एस इन द वाटर एंड हाउ टू फैंड यस बै डई अयोनिक टेस्टर एंड वाट इज द फार्मुला टी डी एस इज ईक्वल टू के इन टू इलेक्ट्रिक कंडक्टिविटी सो यू शुड नो द यूनिट ओके देन नेक्स्ट पैरामीटर हियर इज अलिटी वाट आर द मेजर एंड मैनर सोर्स आफ् अलिटी molecular weight equivalent weight then molarity normality so all these are like very very confusing part when even when we teach to the students ala so in offline classes students will get confused with this you know it's completely like a kind of chemistry so valency anu dena molecular weight then equivalent weight so you get confused so don't worry it needs little more of practice so alpa practice madid kulle then all your confusion will go off and obviously how to calculate the alkalinity in terms of caco3 and why we are considering only caco3 why not other conversion to the other like mgco3 and all so that you should know the reason and titration yes this is very very important so nim x axis olaga uh, titrant you add martiri like h2so4 y axis olaga ph values irtav like 10 8.3 4.5 graph will be like this so you add various indicators like phenoctaline methyl orange you should know the color change see only from this titration procedure okay so you can expect around 10 to 15 questions so first yav the alkalinity remove akati next yav dakati so all you should know this is very very important graph actually next physical parameter is ph so you should know the formula of ph H plus ions. So how to find out by color matching technique as well as by potentiometer, which is also called as pH meter, and uh, where we are using the electrode of uh, calomel. Okay, and pH is e plus pOH is equal to fourteen, and uh, you can expect numerical on this again. This is very simple, and here if possible, try remembering log values from zero to ten. Okay, log lan. So even less all go there back nimaga. then next uh, chemical parameter here is hardness so here major and minor source of hardness you should know and you should be aware that hardness is caused only because of multivalent cations like ca2 plus mg2 plus or fe2 plus mn2 plus and all yakandre when you are trying to find the hardness in the values they will be giving you the univalent ions also so those univalent ions you are not considering when you are calculating hardness because hardness is caused only by the multivalent cations so you all the simple things go there back that's what i am telling you when you are uh, watching our lecture or when you are writing the notes or studying and all so simple things in you have to take care okay so as to create the confusion only they will be giving you like anions cations kodu barli anion of the certain value also they will give you in the question so you should not consider them okay like two types of hardness you should know carbonate or temporary hardness and uh, permanent hardness or non carbonate hardness how they are caused and all then calculation of total hardness as a caco3 as what i told you so the numericals are very important so you should practice numerical as well as uh, measurement of the hardness by using the titration method so wherein you are using ebt as well as edta so this is about till hardness next comes your chloride content so here you need to know about the mohr's test titration that is agno3 and you add indicator and all so all this you need to know after that sulfate so presence of sulfate very briefly you can know like uh, sulfate h rudintra a nil impact at the health ke as well as what should be the maximum permissible value so that you should know next comes nitrogen content yes this is very very important so we know there are four different forms of the nitrogen like free ammonia or albuminoid then organic ammonia nitrite nitrate so every individual value and how to find all these four different types of the presence of the nitrogen and blue baby disease why it is caused what is jeldal ammonia so all this you need to know okay na next comes phosphorus content so again very briefly same as that of sulfate you need to know so next comes fluoride content so here you need to know the values like what will happen if it is 1 mg per liter or greater than 1.5 mg per liter or 5 mg per liter so recollect madkore like 1 mg per liter itandra like it prevent dental fluorosis greater than 1.5 mg per liter itandra it will cause decoloration of the teeth 
and if it is more than 5 mg per liter or up to 5 mg per liter then it will cause bone fluorosis okay so these are all the topics where questions have been already appeared okay so after that the last chemical parameter here you need to know about the presence of different metals in the water like sodium magnesium iron copper so as well as like dissolved gases so again very briefly you will be studying what are the ill impacts of that and what should be the permissible value that's it okay and the last topic in this uh, water quality parameter is biological parameter so hydrolyzing what is anaerobic decomposition then aerobic what are facultative bacteria so biodegradable non biodegradable so e terminology is brief idea ill irbeku but no doubt again you will be studying very much in detail in the uh, waste water engineering and also here you need to know the different methods of finding the presence of the coliform and why you are considering the coliform so as to know the presence of the pathogens in the water anodunu you should know the reason okay so there are various methods like uh, membrane filter technique or mpn that is uh, most probable number as well as coliform index and you can expect question from this mpn technique okay so it's very simple question so you need to practice questions on this right so this is till the water quality parameters next is water treatment so again every stage of the water treatment you need to know the detail procedure right from the screening that is what is core screen what is fine screen what are the functions of that next comes your aeration so what are the parameters removed in aeration like carbon dioxide h2s volatile gases organic matter and all and what are the different methods of aeration like spray nozzle cascade aeration trait over diffused air like efficiency and all you need to know procedure you need to know next process here is sedimentation so this is very important exam point of view so what are the various factors affecting the sedimentation and what are the various types of the sedimentation tank like a fixed or quiescent type as well as continuous flow type and again in continuous flow type you are having two types one is horizontal as well as uh, vertical type okay so other details go there as well as simple formula like vs is equal to capital h by td again it is equal to q design by plan area plan area is equal to b into l so same way vf that is a uh, flow velocity so you should be knowing the formula you can expect lot of questions as well as design conditions and here you need to know the design data for the sedimentation tank that is what is surface overflow rate what should be the detention time what should be the horizontal flow velocity discharge uh, design discharge so all these standard values ena davala i know they are very difficult to remember but they are very important you need to know that then next step here is coagulated aided sedimentation so here we use coagulate uh, coagulants like alum copra and all but mainly you will be focusing on alum so other one equation uh, if you can recollect like uh, one mole of alum will produce two mole of gelatinous precipitate that is 666 gram of alum will produce 156 gram of gelatinous precipitate so you nella nimu gotirbeku because numerical can be asked in this and uh, how to find the optimum alum dosage obviously by jar test procedure gotirbeku next uh, other uh, coagulants like uh, copras chlorinated copras or sodium aluminate so adar bagge nu brief agi nimu gotirbeku and after that like mixing methods like either by mixing basins or by mechanical mixers and here one concept you need to know which is temporal mean velocity which is given by capital g so this is very important you need to know and also power required so you can expect question because in coagulated aided sedimentation we mix it so power is needed that is electricity is consumed so you need to know what is that p value here so formula it numerical you need to practice on this and same way as that of the plain sedimentation tank here you need to know the design data for the mixing tank okay so in detail very much you need to know about this again this is important next is your filtration procedure so there are two methods here one is gravity filter and another one is pressure filter again in gravity filter slow sand filter then uh, rapid sand filter so complete details because see this is slow sand filter like what is the uh, thickness of the sand gravel so all those standard conditions you need to know and in uh, slow sand filter formation of scum zadak so all that procedure you need to know and various processes involved in this filtration that is mechanical straining or sedimentation biological process 
electrolytic process and uh, what is cracking of filter then uh, what is double filtration what is the roughening filter when you call it as a roughening filter and maintenance of these filters so each and everything you need to know okay now next comes your disinfection so physical methods like by boiling method or ultraviolet rays and whether it is feasible or not individual advantages disadvantages next comes your chemical method like by using oxidizing agents then metallic ions alkalis and uh, acids next comes your uh, chlorination uh, which is in disinfection so what is uh, the formation of the monochloramine or dichloramine or trichloramine with respect to ph value reactions so reactions then it go back nimaga yakandre yav ph value olaga whether monochloramine is formed or dichloramine is formed so those uh, reactions are very important in this uh, chlorination in fact chlorination method of disinfection is very important exam point of view okay next is various forms of chlorine that is free, free chlorine or hypochlorites and bleaching powder chloramine chlorine dioxide and order of effectiveness order of stability so the line draw madti nodre which is more stable in this which is more effective in this so that you need to know and various types of the chlorination like uh, plain chlorination pre chlorination post chlorination double chlorination super chlorination so in detail adu gotirbeku and break point chlorination that graph you should know okay so that graph is very important and what should be the minimum value which should be left after the chlorination that you should know and what are the various methods of testing of the chlorine residue like orthotoledin test or dpd test or chlorotex test so these you should know next comes our next treatment procedure that is water softening so which are different methods of removing the permanent hardness like lime soda process zeolite process so all this you should know okay so that was the end of the water treatment next chapter here is pipe appurtenances and distribution system again you can expect at least two or three mcqs for your exam like you know there are three different systems one is gravity system next one is pumping system and next one is combined gravity and pumping system so that you should know and various layouts of distribution system yes like dead end or tree system grid iron system circular or ring system radial system so you all are the relative advantages disadvantages process each and everything you need to know after that forces acting on the pressure conduit so idunu eshtu jana miss madkotir nimo so what are the various pressures acting on the pressure conduits that you should know and next again important what are the various types of the pipes used for the pipe distribution system so these pipes are classified based on the type of the material used for the manufacturing of these pipes like cast iron steel pipe pvc pipe concrete pipe so you all pipe do no relative advantages disadvantages you should know because lot of questions have been appeared and i have discussed all of them in our free mcq series also in the course okay so you adan madidre andre all this will be like very easy for you if not then you see to it that you study all these topics that's it okay no worries in that next is types of valves okay again important like sluice valve check valve uh, air relief valve drain valve score valve cut off valve where uh, you will be placing these individual valves what are the functions of these valves so you all go there but next pumps and various types of the pumps and next is like procedure of construction of pipeline there are 6 to 7 steps of the construction layout and all so uh, laying and all so that you should know and various types of the pipe joints like for example spigot and socket joint or flange joint collar joint so all this you should know okay and what are the various methods of leak detection in this pipe so there are different methods so that you should know okay so this is the end of your first subject that is water supply and treatment engineering so next subject let's take it as the sanitation engineering so idrolaga first chapter comes is design of sewers okay so here you need to know the various types of the sewerage system that is separate sewerage system combined sewerage system or uh, uh, like uh, partially separate and combined system so avunella nim clear gotagirbeku as well as like here you need to know relative advantages and disadvantages of both of them okay like treatment ge yav hech disadvantage aagtati construction time that like which is economical which is not economical so all this you need to know and main thing is all the detail information about your lateral sewer branch sewer main sewer outfall sewer 
okay so individual diameters you need to know and for what value they are designed like three fourth full half full so those values you should know and uh, maximum daily discharge maximum hourly discharge minimum daily discharge minimum hourly discharge so these are all the confusing points uh, like to remember as well as to solve the numericals and all so idr bagge nim clarity sigbeku and uh, also like self cleansing velocity so what should be that and formula to calculate self cleansing velocity and next comes your small d by capital d andre you are comparing that design for the flow depths so that is small d by capital d in formula it small a by capital a then small r by capital r small p by capital p so small q by capital q so all those formula you need to know and after that like hydraulically equivalent section like square idde then circular madbekandra we call it as hydraulically equivalent section whatever the dimension it is the discharge should remain same okay like for example d is equal to 1.09 b 9% more you have to take so that when you are designing a circular sewer so e type simple formula kevatar nimgavaru as well as numerical and what is egg shaped sewer what should be the dimension of the upper and the bottom part and width of that or diameter you can say and when we go for this egg shaped sewer so this is all about design of sewer chapter next comes our house drainage system okay so this these two subjects are very huge actually so that's the reason like weightage is also more okay so you might be feeling like i'm explaining more but all this is in syllabus whichever exam you attend it's not just for rws aw whichever exam you attend all this is in the syllabus so let's discuss about house drainage system so various components of house drainage system like uh, different types of pipes like soil pipe vent waste rain anti siphonage pipe so you individual pipe with in function it where you place them and all okay and also diameter of them so that you should know next comes your traps so obviously traps are classified into two by based on two different conditions one is based on shape and another one is based on where we are using like a spq type small s small p small q type in the based on the shape and based on where we are using it is a on like floor or a gully or intercepting trap so this you need to know and after that various sanitary fittings like wash basin sink bath tub water closet urinal flushing system so dimensions height test irbeku questions have been appeared on this so do not neglect idrola gen questions kelthartha questions have come on this in various exams next chapter here is sewer appurtenances okay so again here manhole is very very important so you can expect one question from manhole and what should be the spacing diameter based on the codal provisions and all you need to know and along with that street inlets or gullies and again in that vertical horizontal combined if you remember then catch basin clean outs then drop manhole what is lamp manhole what is flushing tank grease and oil trap then inverter siphon then storm regulators so you will know what are the individual functions and where they are placed so all this you should know after that pumps for lifting of the sewage so we know that the pumping system is different here compared to that of pumping of the water because here we are talking about sewage which is very challenging and also you need to know what is pumping station what exactly the procedure happens in the pumping station next comes layout and construction of the sewer systems so question kya hota ro like whether you will construct it from the treatment plant towards the city or towards the city to treatment plant how the slope should be and how they are laid how the joints are joined so all those things okay what are the various process involved and what are the different methods of cleaning of these sewers so again there are a lot of different methods which are very important so you need to know okay like uh, ball hakodu like lamp insert madudu you need to see the light and there are many methods here okay so you need to know all the methods okay fine and also what are the various gases coming out of this and all next chapter comes our natural cycles so wherein we are studying about two different cycles so one is aerobic and anaerobic and in both of them we are studying like nitrogen cycle oxygen cycle and sulfur cycle okay so end products in and convert akta wo what are the microorganisms involved so all that you need to remember here in natural cycles chapter 
नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इज क्वालिटी पैरामीटर्स ऑफ सीवेज सो अगेन दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट तो हियर अगेन फिजिकल पैरामीटर्स लाइक स्मेल कलर टेम्परेचर टर्बिडिटी टोटल सॉलिड्स सो वेर वी यूज इमोफकोन सो हव वी विल मैनेज सिंपल न्यूमरिकल ऑल्सो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट ऑन दिस इमोफकोन आफ्टर दैट प्रेजेंस ऑफ डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन बाय यूजिंग विंकलर्स मेथड ओके सो अदर वाला कलर चेंज ये नहीं थी इफ द डी ओ इज प्रेजेंट अपसेंट व्हाइट कलर ब्राउन कलर सो ऑल दैट यू नीड टू नो देन सी ओ डी सो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट दैट सी ओ डी नेक्स्ट इज टी ओ डी सो इ टी ओ डी वाले ऐन लाइक इट इज थेटिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड सो लाइक इक्वेशन आर देर लेट मी टेक वन एक्सापल लाइक मीथेन सी एच फोर प्लस ओ टू विल फॉर्म सी ओ टू प्लस एच टू ओ सो ना हियर वॉट इज दैट क्वांटिटी ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन नीडर दैट इज सिक्सटी फोर ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज नीडर टू डी कॉम्पोज सिक्सटीन ग्राम ऑफ द कार्बन सो ऑल दैट यू नीड टू नो ऑर द ऑर्गेनिक मैटर नेक्स्ट इज टी ओ सी दैट इज थेटिकल ऑर्गेनिक कार्बन सो अगेन वॉट शुड बी द वैल्यू सिंपल न्यूमरिकल यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन लाइक आई दर ग्लूकोज और मीथेन लाइक दैट नेक्स्ट इज अ बी ओ डी सो अगेन हंड्रेड पर्सेंट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट न्यूमरिकल ऑन दिस इन एक्साम सो वॉट इज द प्रोसिजर लाइक इनक्यूबेटर वेट नाउ वी विल फाइंड द बी ओ डी सो डी ओ इनिशियल माइनस डी ओ फाइनल इन टू डायल्यूशन फैक्टर देन बी ओ डी फॉर्म्यूला यू नीड टू नो लाइक बी ओ डी अल्टीमेट ब्रैकेट ऑफ वन माइनस ई रेस टू माइनस के टी के डी एंड वॉट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन के एंड के डी सो ऑल दैट फॉर्म्यूला बेस्ड ऑन द टेम्परेचर द formula will be different so you can expect lot of numericals on this bod and what is first stage bod that is carbonaceous bod second stage bod nitrogenous bod then the concept of the population equivalent yes you can expect question on this relative stability yes capital s so ee eradu thoru concept nu nimge gothirbeku okay so this is about quality parameters of sewage next is sewage treatment सो इ लाइक हौ बी ओ डी एंड सस्पेडेड सालिड्स आर रिमूव एट एव्री स्टेज ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट बिकॉज अगेन ऐव एक्सप्लेन दिस वि फार्म आफ द फ्लो चार्ट सो एव्री स्टेज वी आर ट्रई टू रेड्यूस द बी ओ डी ऐस वेल एज सस्पेडेड सालिड्स आर रिमूव सो हौ मच इट इज रिमूव एंड आल वी शुड बी नोइंग बिकॉज डायरेक्टली वैल्यू बेस्ड क्वेश्चन कैन बी एक्सपेक्टेड इन द एक्साम नेक्स्ट इज अबउट लाइक प्रोसिजर वॉट आर कम्युनेटर्स वॉट आर मेसिटर्स स्क्रीन what is grid chamber what is exactly removed in that and specifications of that what is skimming tank and what is primary sedimentation tank like various settling types ulag now kalithevu like discrete settling flocculent settling zone or hinder settling or compression settling so evella different types of settling gotirbeku and at every stage what kind of settling happens so again this is very confusing part so this you need to remember as well as design standards for this primary sedimentation tank okay so this you need to know next comes our sludge digester so idr olag little concept you need to know first before exactly understanding about the procedure what happens in the sludge digester or the working phenomena so here you need to understand about the acid formers and methane formers okay so adi in condition olag acids formers microorganisms or bacteria i am talking here so ya condition ulaga you exist akta and how they are important so that bod can be reduced so adar bagge nau kalithevu like uh, standard rate sludge digester high rate sludge digester design criteria and formula to calculate the volume so again if you have missed this so you need to know the formula to calculate the volume of the digester tank okay and what are the various factors affecting sludge digestion that is ph bacteria temperature so you should be knowing like mesophilic range thermophilic range e type graph irathi x axis olaga here we'll type it as like temperature y axis will be days so you should know like which range will come first which will come next and what temperature we have to maintain if we want to go for the high rate and uh, standard rate so that you should know and uh, next comes our uh, secondary treatment or degree 2 treatment that is suspended and attached growth system so what exactly is suspended growth system what exactly is attached growth system and further in other wala like trickling filter then srtf uh, uh, hrtf that is standard rate trickling filter high rate trickling filter next is rotatory biological contractor oxygenation pond oxidation pond activated sludge process so you ella throlaga like whether we go with the 
स्टैंडर्ड रेट और स्टैंडर्ड और स्टैंडर्ड सिस्टम और अटैच ग्रोथ सिस्टम सो आल दिस इन डिटेल यू नीड टू नो एंड इन एक्टिवेटर स्लेज प्रोसेस वाला का ग्राफ यू शुड नो देन लैग फेज लॉग फेज स्टेशनरी फेज एंडोजेनस फेज एंड सिम्बायोटिक रिलेशन विच हैपन्स इन द ऑक्सीडेशन पॉइंट बिटवीन द अलगे एंड बैक्टेरिया सो ईच एंड एवरी प्रोसीजर यू नीड टू नो नेक्स्ट कम्स द सेप्टिक टैंक then uh, imof tank then up flow anaerobic sludge blanket so all this you need to know like uh, detention time dimensions so all this can be expected next comes here is advanced wastewater treatment which is degree 3 or tertiary treatment so idrol like detail procedure nimaga nitration denitrification process then uh, phosphorus removal advanced oxidation process which is also called as aop next is uh, electrocoagulation nano filtration so all this you should know in detail okay so this is about sewage treatment next comes sewage disposal so it will like various process of self purification of the rivers like dispersion or dilution or with the help of sunlight sedimentation oxidation reduction so all this you need to know and bod mix formula okay so that bod mix formula you can expect questions on that and actually i am feeling like explaining all this but this will be very lengthy video so that's the reason i am just discussing the highlights so you see to it that you have studied all of them okay so that your confidence will be improved because you will be having that doubt in your mind that whatever i have studied is sufficient or not this is what the usual question student will ask me so if you have covered all this whatever i am discussing now that means you are able to get at least 30% of the questions very easily in your exam okay you can answer them so next comes like zone of pollution okay you can expect question on this that is zone of clear water zone of degradation zone of active decomposition and zone of recovery so fish algae black color water yellow irrati so all that you should know very much in detail and what is lake stratification epilimium layer hypolimium layer change of the layer due to change in the season next concept is productivity of lakes and classification of the lakes based on the productivity like oligotropic lake mesotropic lake eutropic lake sensenet lake so each and everything you need to know and uh, quality parameter like if we want to dispose the waste either in river or in sea or on land so what should be the values of bod cod ph and suspended solids so our standard table it one do so those values you should remember and next very important concept is oxygen sag curve so you can expect questions on this so you need to know the concept of this okay so this is about sewage disposal next comes our rural sanitation so this is completely little theory kind of so what is solid waste and what is solid waste management and various types sources components functional elements physical properties chemical proxim um, properties and what is proximity and ultimate analysis so i am feeling like you you might have heard these words for the first time so you need to know the meaning of them then what is the heating value that is what is the energy liberated when you heat the waste so like energy content we say so numericals are there on this so you should solve numericals on this and what is waste generation rate next comes transportation of the waste so route optimization is very important in this and also like solid management rules of 2000 as well as 2016 certain uh, specifications and other those rules and other those that you need to know and various processing technique of solid waste like separation then size reduction volume reduction burning which is also called as incineration pyrolysis various composting methods like bangalore method indore method factors affecting all of them idr the detail nimu gotirbeku then details about sanitary landfill yes this is very very important exam point of view like uh, site selection gas movement and its control like carbon dioxide methane gas are generated so how that is controlled and all then leachate movement and its control then design of landfill so here actually you are trying to find the area of the landfill for the known waste which is to be dumped in that particular area so here you will be finding the total area in terms of meter square okay so numericals are very important on this so practice numerical on this next comes complete details about the hazardous waste okay like characteristics 
classification sources storage collection treatment and disposal of this hazardous waste next comes as per your syllabus e waste as well as construction waste so they are not much important exam point of view so you can study very briefly and the last one here is biomedical waste so again this is very important exam point of view for this exam as well as for any exams where this particular chapter will be there okay like biomedical waste and rena what are the various sources then what are the various categories collection of the biomedical waste segregation of this waste storage of this waste handling of this waste treatment as well as a disposal okay so the, the video has become very lengthy so this is all what you have to cover in these two subjects so see to it that you have you will not be leaving any of the topics whatever whatever i have discussed and if you have any doubts regarding this you can uh, whatsapp me and if you need the similar detail information for rest of the five subjects of your rws awe then you can leave the comment in the comment section so definitely i'll be discussing in detail about other subjects the reason why i chose these two subjects are these two are very important next wastage comes your environmental studies and environmental management so next to those two subjects are important after that comes your strength of materials next comes your ctm and surveying so that will be end of your rws awe technical course okay so this is what i wanted to discuss in today's video and again if you want to join our pwd awe course as well as again if you want to do revision for this rws awe because we have reduced the fees for this rws awe course as the exam is approaching so if you have already studied and if you want to have a kind of brush up so you can watch our video lectures at 2x speed and uh, you can cover and again i'm telling you like whatever the topics are missed so you can write them uh, write them so that you will go with the confidence for this rws awe exam so this is what i wanted to discuss saying this all the very best and again very soon we will be conducting one more rws awe mock exam within 15 days so be prepared for that exam and whatever the information you need i suggest you to join our telegram group wherein i'll be sharing the information very quickly there even though there will be some delay in making the video so that you will be getting all the updates instantly all the very best to for alan white was able to fit himself through the bars covering a window opening in his cell in the tennessee jail these bars were only four and a half inches apart he then used blankets to climb over the barbed wire fence unfortunately for him he was caught after just 15 hours on the run And finally, 37-year-old Australian Robert Cole used some unusual trimming method 